Hi, Joe Kiss, ladies and gentlemen. PewDiePie video got banned. We have eight stories at our hands. We got Call of Duty 2021. We have some real and fake God of War news and got eight stories at our hands. So let's go for zero likes on the video. Hit the subscribe bell because the videos aren't hitting everybody's sub box. So if you want to see them, hit the subscribe bell. But coming in at number eight, YouTube removes PewDiePie diss track for violating. And you know what? I'm not even trying to say any of these words out here, okay? We're talking YouTube here. If they can take down PewDiePie, they can take down anybody here. The situation here is massive, man. Like, apparently he made a diss track against like Coco Melon channel. And Coco Melon, let me show you something, okay? Coco Melon, they are a nursery rhymes channel. And they pull almost 3.2 billion views. And they have pulled that in the last 30 days that's literally half of the planet our population right there man smash a like button so we can hit two viewers on the channel as well but the situation is next level we're hearing that in the video this is what the word says uh, pewdiepie attacks uh, coco melon content and pokes fun at you know i'm not even trying to say any of these words here and youtube if you're listening these are just memes okay and pewdiepie uses phrases like your audience is just a mother effing i won't be able to say any words like that and sometimes you ask me right like skizzle why can't you say that word or this word here's the thing my stud muffin if they can take down pewdiepie video like that they can take done anybody okay and most of the times i can say those words but i choose to not say those words because it can affect the video i mean this is proof right there what else do you want right and the quadring also says this youtube just struck down a video of the 10 seconds of the pewdiepie music video on my channel 10 effing seconds so quadring talked about the situation he showed the video for 10 seconds i'm not gonna show anything uh uh man like i'm not trying to catch that heat. he also replied to his tweet with a video that is on youtube with almost 3 million views with a women with bobs hanging out like they're bouncing and the video is still over on youtube and youtube is like okay we gotta take pewdiepie down because he bad he bad i quit dog coming in at number seven now this whole situation okay we're hearing about god of war definitive edition announcement trailer and some of you actually added me in the situation some of you were like yo skizzle you gotta make a video about this me and the, the thing here is that this is actually cap yes this is fake they had you in the first time you don't believe me let me show you something this is on the playstation channel and you can see like this is a fake channel this is capity cap okay they only got three videos there is no check mark and they had people with that uncharted teaser trailer they had people with the last of us homecoming <laughs> teaser trailer and they had people with the god of war definitive edition trailer as well and i have to say this it's a very well done trailer and i like it i mean am i holding a grudge against this trailer am i holding a grudge against whoever made this absolutely not it's just a minute 30 second video and it's a very well done video like it is what it is uh, obviously a little bit sad about the situation i wish it was real but turns out to be cap but at number six on to some real information and the information is very minimal uh, obviously just the other day the, the head of playstation studios did came out i reported on that the head of playstation studios did say that they're excited about the upcoming god of war game and they cannot wait for people to see it and now Corey barlog actually retweeted and this is that fan art right so this user i'm not even sure if that's russian or not uh, I, I think that might be russian yes that is very Russian so he says that waiting for a generation game from Santa Monica and Cody Barlog get the word Ragnarok and he put out this image where it says Ragnarok is coming it's a fan art and to be honest in grand scheme of things it doesn't mean a whole lot because anyone can retweet it's a fan art so Cory Barlog or literally anybody would like or retweet right because it's a very well done fan art but we're talking Cory Barlog now keep in mind this man actually hinted at God of War Ragnarok months ago when nobody like knew about about it i mean we all knew about like it's gonna happen like dad if you played god of war you already know like it's gonna happen but the thing here is that he did hint it at that and obviously it got confirmed months later and we already know he was actually hinting and now he retweeted that so a uh, part of me feels like that it is nigh how nigh i'm not sure at number five fall guys is coming to xbox or i should say the xbox uh, this summer and this is a good game this is a very good game and personally i have not no life this game but i have played a couple of games uh, and you know what it is what it is it's like it's a small game uh, but it's actually fun the the homie commander josh added me in the situation and our twitter experts are saying get that game it is a decent game but at number four 
EA's acquisition of their developer Codemasters is officially complete. And let's head down to our Twitter experts because EA did tweet this out by saying, hey, oh man, we're excited to welcome Codeman. And obviously some of the YouTubers are kind of like hitting the G spot. Uh, I, I love the homie Westy, but let's be real. Honestly, it's not a Poggers type of situation because if we ask this to the homie Enib, he will tell you straight up, okay? Quote, please don't ruin their games with your microtransactions. Ow. Oh! You be the judge, you think he's spitting facts or you think he's capping, let me know, but at number three. Now, I wanted to actually cover this story the other day, but the season two trailer came out, so I had to postpone this. But man, Victor tweeted out Call of Duty WW2 the other day, and the homie asked from the streets, hey, are we gonna get WW3? He was referring to Call of Duty 2021, and he says WW2. Here's the thing, my G, Victor is a credible leaker, okay, alongside Tom Henderson, and Victor apparently was the first guy to say that Call of Duty 2019 is gonna be a Modern Warfare reboot. Weeks later, Tom Henderson heard the same thing, I made a video about it. The leak turned out to be true as well. And now he's saying the upcoming Call of Duty game is gonna be WW2. And Tom Henderson says this at number two. What I've heard so far with Call of Duty 2021, it's gonna be Sledgehammer Games. It's gonna be developed by Sledgehammer Games. It's gonna be gritty and likely going to be controversial like Modern Warfare, Boots on the Ground, Gorilla like uh, Warzone Integration. And shout out to all the homies for adding me in the situation. Y'all are absolute stud muffins. Y'all are G's. Y'all are Chad's. Y'all are above everybody else. And he also does say that that a title set during the Pacific Theater would be cool, I think, but the general consensus here is that we're all bored of boots on the ground, new Splash track will likely be the next devs 2023 to release an advanced movement based title depending on Warzone plans. That is his guess, and he also says when I say likely, I mean that Infinity Ward's title is 100% boots on the ground, or meant to say boots on the ground, duh, and Treyarch is the next developer in line who could do advanced movement, but even that is unlikely because of Warzone plans, Warzone and integration will easily easily be around four five plus years y'all trying to play call of duty for five more years man i i hope we get gta 6 in the next five years man. Uh, because this game is crazy and understand like i do like call of duty but let me know what your stud muffin opinion is on the ww2 title setting uh gorilla like w and 1950s for the next call of duty and everywhere you look the homies are big mad okay like the homie enib is missing the advanced movement the homie like literally all i want is jetpacks yo and a homie from the street says that and they're not getting my money so tired of these old shooters that thing fucking sucks i can hate that thing oh the homie right away says uh, I, I wake up and see this and you can see like people are just going at each other like the homie hives or hibs i'm not sure how you pronounce this mofo's name out here but like you can see the streets are crying and it's uh one of the situation here okay it do be like this but coming in at number one some good news the storm in verdansk is actually happening and obviously now we already know this is about the season two and we can see the battleship in the background as well so the theory here is that this is what gonna bring nuke to war zone but obviously only time will tell us for sure hit the subscribe bell we'll keep a chat master like you in the loops check out this video on the screen you're gonna get a kick of dopamine and i will see you right there